and Nocturne for Heroes have just about launched, and some of us might find ourselves somewhat short on MGP, even after the Make It Rain event. But fear not, I'm coming at you with a checklist of events to maximize your ratio of time spent to MGP earned in one short video. Keep in mind that I'm not presenting an exhaustive list, but rather the biggest single weekly boost so that you can get your rewards without losing yourself to the source of gold. The good thing about this is that most of these activities take place towards the end of the week, so with a bit of weekend time, you should be well set to get cars, here and cards. So without further ado... The Fashion Report Each Friday at 1am PDT, the Fashion Report becomes available. Merely present yourself for a judging for 10,000 MGP right into your pocket. If you want to go the extra mile, have a look at Kayako Star on Twitter for a detailed report on how to reach 80 points to add another 50,000 MGP to that tally, for a total of 60,000 MGP per week. This is by and far the biggest time to MGP ratio you'll find. As long as you know what gear you're looking for, 60k typically won't take you more than 15 minutes. The Mini Cackpot is a classic scratch-up game in which you want to get a wanted 1-2-3 line for a whopping 10k per game. While random, you get 3 games per day, earning you anywhere between 170 MGP and 30,000 MGP a day, or anywhere between 1200 MGP and 210,000 MGP per week, so the chance for the latter is astronomically low. Still, it is a quick game, should take less than 5 minutes a day in total, and thus is well worth adding to your rotation. By simply queuing into the Triple Triad Battle Hall and winning 10 games against any opponent, you will check up all 4 challenge log challenges for Triple Triad. With a decent deck against the easiest opponent, they should take little more than 15 minutes and will earn you a whopping 19,000 MGP plus whichever cards you pick up. If you struggle to win Triple Triad games but you want to learn, this guide might be able to help you. I know what you're thinking. Lord of Herminion takes time, and to some degree, I agree. However, there are ways to optimize it. For the uninitiated, I made this video on some easy strategies against NPCs. If you check with this NPC, you can see the time of the weekly Lord of Herminion tournament, which typically happens towards the end of the week. Line up your LOE challenges with the tournament registration and play 10 games against the LOE tournament master. Since the LOE is so seldomly played, you're almost guaranteed a good tournament standing, which should net you another easy 20 to 40,000 MGP, in addition to the 27,000 points you get from the Lord of Herminion challenge log. With most games lasting between 3 to 6 minutes, this shouldn't take more than 40 to 60 minutes total per week, and might also net you a few new minions and achievements. Gates are special timed events that happen in the Gold Saucer every 20 minutes at the 0, zero 20 and 40 minute marks. Each gate takes 3 to 10 minutes depending on efficiency, and rewards anywhere between 2 and 4,000 MGP on successful completion. If you have some experience with the gates, hitting the 5 gates and completing the 3 needed for the challenge log shouldn't take much more than 25 minutes in active playtime as long as you're vigilant on the clock, also netting you another 20-30,000 to 30, MGP. If you manage to complete the challenge logs as mentioned above, hit the 80 points needed for fashion reports while still staying on the lower end of RNG variables, you should be able to earn at least 150,000 MGP weekly in just under 2 hours of weekend playtime, and thus securing you all the rewards from the current event in less than 2 weeks. You could cut it down to about 100,000 MGP in about 1 hour if you drop the Lords of Romanian. With that fresh in mind, I hope you're ready to take on both the Saucer and the event. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and leave any thoughts or questions down in the comment section below. As always, I hope you have a great day and a great week. Have a nice one!